is another word for calorie? Energy. Energy, awesome. You guys remember that? Did we call calories energy last week? We started California Food Literacy Center in July of 2011, so it's brand new. I've always been in nonprofit my entire career, and I was very passionate about food and our food system and, and fixing that. And so in 2008, I started a food blog called Awake at the Whisk, and really the purpose of that food blog was to help raise people's consciousness about what they were eating. And I got a lot of reader feedback of people telling me you know, that they you know, they were changing their diet, that they couldn't believe how easy some of the things that I recommended were, and I thought, I must I must be able to combine these two in some way, and that's when I started um, the idea of California Food Literacy Center, and bringing this education out into the community. It's much easier to teach a kid a new habit than try to break an old habit that an adult has. If you have an entire generation of kids who grow up from day one, from kindergarten, learning to love and appreciate vegetables and fruits and create healthy lifestyle, that's going to be with them for life. Yeah, everything that he learns here, he does take home. He likes to cook. He loves to eat. <laughs> so food literacy is one of the programs that he likes here. He really enjoys it a lot. Well, from what I see, it, it does teach him to eat healthier, and it teaches him what to eat and what he shouldn't eat, or well, at least what he should intake less of <laughs> for junk food. So yeah, it, it has helped. Apple, avocado, these are two blueberries, banana, and um, another apple. Food that I planted today is um, what I learned about it. It's that um, some of this food, well, all of this food is um, fruits, and um, I didn't want to go for any vegetables, so I just wanted to take some fruits. I like the fruit better than the vegetables because um, the fruits actually kind of taste delicious, except for one thing, the celery. The celery is good. The reception has been all good. Um, they take home recipes. They know um, they know more about food and um, eating than they ever have before. Um, they talk to me, me about snacks. They talk to me about um, what what's it, the nutrients in their snack that I feed them, and then the food at home that they're making. They bring home recipes. Their family. Um, they spend a lot of time with their families talking about food, so that's really, really important, just opening up the conversation about food. Honestly, I think it surprised me with, with how much the students remembered from the week prior when she started asking them questions about, you know, what, what do you remember learning last week, and um, I would say at least 50% of the kids, if not, 75%. I was only at one end of the tables, so it's hard to tell. But um, I, I think it was really surprising as to how they knew, like, no, these are the ones we need to pay attention to, you know, fat and uh, cholesterol and calories. We need to pay attention to these numbers. It shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't be that somebody has to sit in their living room on their Saturday spending their time combing through books to try to teach themselves how to eat better for them, not only themselves, but for the planet and for their community. This information should be simpler, it should be more practical, and it should be in the hands of everyone. So it's sort of a, it's, it's food justice to be able to teach food literacy to, to everyone and to start with kids.